I am Muhammad Khaliq and we will learn how to find median of given group data. Please visit mafid.com or subscribe our channel Mafid on YouTube for more such topics. If you do not know how to find group data from ungrouped data, then please visit our link given in description. What is group data? If we are given lower class limit, upper class limit and corresponding frequency then this is our given group data. Now we will find median of given group data. The formula for median is L plus H over F N over 2 minus C where L is lower class boundary of model class H class size F frequency of model class N over 2 is half of sum of all frequencies and C is the cumulative frequency of class which is before model class. Now please follow me carefully to find median of our group data. First we will find the values of these variables and then we will use these values to find our median over here. First of all we need to find lower class boundary and upper class boundary. To find lower class boundary and upper class boundary we need to find boundary factor and that we will find by subtracting upper class limit of previous class from lower class limit of next class. Lower class limit of next class minus upper class limit of previous class divided by 2. Now we will subtract this factor from all the lower class limits to make them upper uh, to make them lower class boundaries is equal to lower class limit minus boundary factor and we will get our lower class boundary for our lower class limit as this boundary factor will remain same so select it and press F4 now drag it downwards and we have lower class boundary of our lower class limits next we will find upper class boundary of our upper class limits upper class limit plus boundary factor as it will remain same so select it press F4 enter drag it downwards and we have upper class boundaries of our upper class limits next we need to find cumulative frequency cumulative frequency we will get by adding previous frequency into present frequency and we will get our cumulative frequencies similarly for rest of the classes now we need to find our model class model class is the class where sum of frequencies divided by two value lies sum of frequencies means sum of all the frequencies divided by two here and we will get a value this value would be checked in this column cumulative frequency column the row which will contain this 30 value would be our model class we will write a formula in a column of finding model class which will detect which is our model class by checking the cumulative frequencies and comparing them with 30 that is n by 2 in this case so one thing is sure that our first class cannot be model class so we will write 0 why our first class cannot be model class because if first class would be model class then we cannot find the cumulative frequency of previous class that we need in our median formula so move ahead now we will check where this 30 lies in this cumulative frequency column for that condition if if some value is greater than this value means that value contains 30 so select it if it is greater than or equal to 30 means this class contain uh, this value will contain our 
n by 2 value so the which uh, the class which will contain our n by 2 value that would be our model class uh, but one more condition is that we can have only one model class so we need to make sure that we get only one model class and for that we need one more condition that is our previous class should be zero so that, that once we get first model class then no more values we get which identify our model class so if both conditions are fulfilled then print one which will identify our model class but if we have uh, we have not zero in our previous class means we have got our model class so print to to identify that we have got our model class closer bracket and if value is not greater than our n by 2 value means there is no model class so print 0 please concentrate on this formula do it twice thrice until you understand it completely this is the core formula in this whole process enter as our e20 means n by 2 value will remain same throughout the column so select it and press f4 now drag it downwards and what will happen the class which contains our 30 in cumulative frequency in front of that in this finding model class column one would be printed and after one uh, we have got then two would be printed and before we do not get one two would be printed enter drag it downwards and let's see here unless we didn't get our model class zero will be printed after we have got our model class then two would be printed and in this way we have successfully got our model class which contains the value 30 in its cumulative frequency now we can easily find our lower class limit of model class frequency of model class and frequency of class which is before our model class that is this class in this case okay it's very simple is equal to if our model class finding model class column has value 1 means it's our model class then lower class boundary of that class lower class boundary okay if not if uh, our model class is not there then paint zero concentrate on the formula and try to understand it again and again until you get it completely drag it onwards and the class which contains one that is our model class so the corresponding frequency uh, so sorry the uh, corresponding lower class boundary of that class means corresponding frequency lower class boundary to one that is one zero seven this one would be printed here similarly we can get frequency if the column of finding model class is equal to 1 means our model class then print frequency of that class and this one and if class is not model class then print 0 enter now the row which contains one that row is our model class so the corresponding frequency to it is 15 and that had been printed here now we need cumulative frequency of class which is before model class okay in first case our cumulative frequency would be zero because there is uh, no previous class before the first class that's why zero next if our finding model class column has value 
one then print the value of frequency of class which is before it here in this case is 10 as print 0 enter drag it downwards and Excel will implement for all the rows so we have got 13 because here is 1 and the frequency of class which is before this class is 13 now these uh, 107.5 can come here or here depending upon our data these values can go up or down but at the bottom if we sum them we will get the value of lower class boundary for each case similarly frequency sum select all the values and similarly cumulative frequency now we have got our lower class boundary frequency of murder class and cumulative frequency of class before murder class now we will put all these values here so that we could use them later on in formula first of all lower class boundary of murder class that is this value lower class boundary enter next class size we will get class size once we would be finding our group data from given ungrouped data this is our ungrouped data and this is group data and once we will find this group data this group data from this data then we will find our class size and we will use this class size in finding median as well so class size enter I repeat if you do not uh, know how to find group data from given ungrouped data then please visit our link given in description now frequency of model class that too we had find and that is equal to 15 is equal to 15 enter now half of sum of all frequencies what is sum of all frequencies 60 and what is its half that is 30 so the uh, cell which contains our half means n by 2 select that ok now cumulative frequency of class which is before murder class and that too we had found and just select the cell enter you would be having difficulty um, in I am moving right left up down so I will minimize the screen so that you could see it as a whole now I will write this formula over here is equal to I will increase it in size so that formula is clearly visible now is equal to value of L this one plus bracket for ensuring ensuring precedence value of H that is this one plus sorry we have got the value of L now H over F we have value of H that is this one and now divide it by frequency next value closer bracket and this is being multiplied by h over f value is being multiplied by n over 2 minus e now inside the bracket value of n over 2 and then minus value of c close the bracket and we have got our median of given group data that is 130.16 thank you